go. Oh my God, it's the king, the king, walking to the ring to congratulate his best friend on the ring on 91 Takeover. But he's coming to congratulate his best friend on the ring. Oh my God! I gave you a warning. Pony oh! rules. God damn! I told you that if you ever hurt Momo, I would kill you myself. Listen. Spend most of your life ruled by another. Watch your race dwindle to a handful. And then tell me what has more meaning than your own strength. This new arena is so dope. But welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to 91 Takeover. It is me, the great one, LT the GOAT. Back at it again for another great episode in Detroit, Michigan. Let's get this started. NLC Smooth coming to the ring. He's not on the match card tonight, but you gotta believe he's coming to address what happened to him at the end of the last episode on the 50 subscriber celebration when his tag team partner, the, you know what? I'm giving up too many details. Well, fuck it. His tag team partner, the King, came out and attacked him from behind after a grueling triple threat match. And we know LC isn't happy about that. Yeah, LC say he usually do his talking with his fists. But before he do that, he got somebody he want to talk to him. You already know who it is. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. He ain't going to be a stepping stone for nobody. Yep, you see that. They were once friends. He once respected them. He going to give him a chance to apologize. Let's see if the king going to do it. And you hear it, you hear it, the king, the king coming to the ring. And you can hear the crowd booing. You can hear the boos from the crowd. The king, who used to be a fan favorite. And just like that, he threw it all away. You see his shoes, AOC got all the world. Oh, what the this? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't back them up either. Telling LC he ain't gonna avoid no conflict because he bringing it to him. Yeah, you showed sure brought it to him after he was in the match already and he was tired. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Man. Okay, okay. LC say he ain't afraid of nobody. Woo! 
How you gonna tell him he gotta be good at what he do? He's won every match he's been in the 91 takeover and you have yet to win anything. Okay, LC saying he'll win if they had to fight. Considering the track record. Uh-oh, okay, okay, yeah. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, you see it. Sergeant Amber Anderson, for the first time since the Royal Rumble, is back in a 91 takeover ring. And she will be welcoming Sergeant Kai in her one-on-one -on -one debut on 91 Takeover. Let's get it started. You hear it, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. The Women's Royal Rumble winner. The Sergeant of Squad 3. I can't pronounce the city that we in right now, but uh, apparently they don't like Amber. Maybe they feel like uh, she, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. Woo. Woo. Oh God. And as darkness covers the ring, as the chills crawl up your spine, you see the footsteps of death himself. Wait a minute, this ain't John Lee coming out. But she in the same squad. And from Kamakura, Kanagawa, Japan, Sergeant Kaiva. Sergeant Kai squad one. A disciple of Captain Suzuki Chain and a subordinate of the Blade of Death, John Lee, coming to the ring for her one on one debut. And as you can tell, there are a few screws loose somewhere in this woman's psychological brain. She need a hug. She got no pupils. Oh my goodness. One-on-one -on -one action, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this started. And Amber starting off hot with a DDT. A running DDT straight to Kai's face. And a reversal. And a hurricane running from Kai. These two ladies have not been in the ring since the Royal Rumble. Nope. This, I believe, is their first time actually in contact with each other. And a drop kick from Kai. Sergeant Amber Anderson, the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble match. She will meet 
the Demon Queen Salas at WrestleMania. And Kai with a sunset flip power bomb. And an elbow to the jaw. Amber. Amber tired of <laughs> bullshit. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, I thought Amber caught it. But she didn't catch the second foot to the jaw. You know she knocked some teeth loose. Uh oh. Oh my oh my god! What is Kai doing? What is Kai doing, Amber? Get your throat off the rope! Get your throat off the rope! Oh my god! And Kai going for a bed. Going for a bed. One. Two. And Amber kicks out. Amber kicks out. Oh, and Amber catches her at midair for a backbreaker. Ain't taking no shit in a big boot. And Amber. Amber, looking to end this match. Looking to end this match with a sit out power bomb. A sit out power bomb from a dead lift. And no, Kai. That shit hurt it. Kai kicks out. How? And Amber isn't done. She isn't done. She goes for a power slam. And Amber looks to be going for another power bomb with a dead lift straight from the back. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. And it is. Sergeant Amber Anderson. Dominant in her return to 91 Takeover. Just dominant. I didn't think Kai was gonna kick out of the first power bomb. Look at the impact. the damage to the back it's not surprising Anderson. what is this Salas and Salas Salas Amber Anderson's Wrestlemania opponent Salas won the elimination chamber to earn a spot at the show of shows against Amber Anderson why is she attacking her after the match? Why? And I told him stall. I told him stall. And the beating continues. And Salas. Salas right on the ramp. On the metal ramp. Look at the destruction. And a spine buster. And Sal is not done. Beating Amber all the way up the ramp. What is she doing? Oh my goodness. Not on the ramp. Not on the ramp. You're going to break it. Oh my God. Salas, the demon queen. Looking to make a statement. Looking to make a statement against her Wrestlemania opponent oh no not on the stage not on the stage oh my goodness my goodness Salas and Salas sending a message early to her Wrestlemania opponent this is not going to be a walk in the park. But we move on. Captain David Wilson against A.A. Ron, the winner of the Royal Rumble. The captain, tired of hearing the youngster talk in the back. A.A. Ron Phil says he's won the Royal Rumble. He's the best in the locker room. But now, David Wilson wants to know the truth. How good is he really? We'll find out next.
There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee. Weighing in at 332 pounds. The captain, David Wilson. I don't know what A.A. Ryan is going to do with this man. Look at this guy. He finna rip A.A. Ryan apart. Captain David Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. You shouldn't be that big and athletic. That should be illegal. The hell? He look like his favorite hobby is obviously lifting weights. And his second favorite hobby is probably lifting weights. <laughs> man, man, man. I'm curious to see what's going to happen between him and the rest of Squad 6. Because they lost the uh, tag team title match at the Elimination Chamber. And we ain't heard from them since. And here he comes, A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron on the way to the ring. <sighs> With that famous cup. From Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 228 pounds. A.A. Ron. It's like a 70 pound difference between these two guys. Not saying that A.A. Ron can't hold his own. I'm just saying this 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 ain't gonna be pretty. I know that. Big fella, it's time for to get down. Go grab that. Oh my goodness. Fun guy. Fun guy attacking Aaron. Fun guy attacking AA Ryan. Why is he out of here? Fun guy's not supposed to be out here. Get off of him. Get off of him. This is supposed to be a one on one match. The two WrestleMania opponents. And yes, as you can see, tensions between WrestleMania opponents have already started to boil over. We haven't even made it to the pay-per-view yet, and people get bust upside the head. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date for the next episode of 91 TakeOver.